Hello, Facebook friends. I'm back for round two. Oh, normally I put my mask. Let me twist my mask and that will stop the, the little uh, exhaust coming up from my glasses. So give me a second, guys. There we go. Hopefully I won't fog up my glasses. Hey, guys, round, back for round two. I'm at the Kuban Cafe today at 20411 Fraser Highway. My company, MyBC Consulting, is holding two events today here and now the second event is set up, ready to go, and I'm gonna pan the camera around, and it's Messy, the Messy Mary Cat, Just Art, and you are. Hi, everybody, it lives on Facebook. And who are you? I'm with GSD, so it's Messy Mary Cat. Okay, so you started talking to me um, about uh, your products and your incredible art. So, and I told you, you had to zip it, because I wanted to hear it fresh out of your mouth, not, not secondhand for our people out on Facebook. So okay. let's walk through your table and what have we got today? Okay, so we've got a, a, co a combination today. Of Where do you want to start? This side or that side? Well, let's start this side. Okay, this perfect. Because all the art So you've been seeing Jeanette posting some, um, you know, sharing some of the Instagram reels and shots. And this is now actually some of the art that I've created in person. So we've got some fiery geode art here with a little bit of crystal action going on. And it's 3D. And it's 3D. And what's great about all these art pieces is, I just have to say that before I, I forget, you can take it and hang it straight on your wall. Okay. There's no need for framing, there's no need for any, you know, issues with... Okay. Are they, weather, are they weatherproof? Could I hang them outside in a covered patio? Uh, on a covered patio, yes. Okay. But because these are all birch panels, preferable not to get wet okay the resin is fine but the the raw birch that it's on will be a bit of an issue if it gets wet okay maybe a sunroom then so there's two different styles of art here we have the resin art which is thrown like this which you you do in the different patterns in the pores which i think people oh will gosh. be familiar with the, the techniques if they've looked at any of the acrylic pouring yeah we use some of the same techniques and then we also have this style of art. I'm just giving them a peruse before we go to the second, star, second style of art here. Oh my gosh. I just want to dive into that, that I swam on the China Sea over in Vietnam, and this just so reminds me of the waves crashing. So these are the elements actually. So those are the air elements, the fire element, earth element, and the water element. <gasps> Is missing its partner because it got sold. Oh, somebody wanted just the, the, the water element. They were quite happy with that. Style. Okay, so part two. Right, so the other style of art is alcohol inks and texture. So when I say texture, it's textured mediums that are used to create patterns and art on Yupo paper, which is then adhered to these birch canvases and then coated with resin. So it gives it a very glass like oh. finish which makes these art pieces incredibly difficult to photograph and to actually get the, the full scope yeah, they're, they're because amazing. it's like a mirror. Wow, I'm getting some good shots here, getting some good video. Uh, <gasps> Look at is, these little charming pieces. So these, these little guys, I do, I do these in all different sizes. So these, from, these are the four inch okay. minis. Okay, nice and slow for me because you're moving around there, honey. Okay, so the four inch minis. Now these are great because you can hang them as a collage or you can actually put this on a shelf. You know what? You so. created some pieces for me and I just want to say, can you turn it around? So if you got one of these pieces, you could tuck a gift card in here for someone. So it could be mm -hmm. a two for a gift. Yep, it could yep. actually do for guests. Um, it could be a gift for someone for a birthday. It could be a corporate gift. You know, if you know someone that likes art, the piece, what's, what's beautiful about these is they can literally stand on the shelf like that. Oh. And it's perfect. It just stands on the shelf. You don't even need to put anything on the wall. These guys have already got the same, same technique. I'll call ink on Yupa paper with a little bit of raised um, edges and uh, done with foils and then coated with resin because it's such a beautiful finish. Oh. Oh, uh, we're going to end with this one. 
This, this is, is the same beautiful. one, collage. They, they, they refer to the style as collage art. So you're taking, you know, you're building up a, an art piece with different cutouts. And then... And textures. And, I'm um, so I, blessed to know you. I really enjoy doing this. Um, it's not as easy as what it, what, what it looks. Because when you look at this, you think, oh, okay, no, it's just a few, you know, we'll cut out a few things and we'll put it together. I thought that too, until I had to sit and do it. Hours later, I'm moving the UFO paper around to try and get like, the style. So, it's quite interesting. This, these little guys are like sailboats. This was after my swim in the Salish Sea. I felt all inspired because I watched the sailboats go out. Beautiful. Oh. Beach, and I was like, oh, cool. Okay, so then we've got over here. Okay, then, sorry, there's another style of art that I do. I am obsessed with circles because of connections that we have made um, and how important connections became during this pandemic. So my whole thing with around circles was we, we, we're in each other's circles, we're in each other's spheres, but we're not touching because we couldn't because of social distancing. So that spawned, I didn't bring the big one because it's a little bit more difficult, but that brought about the circle art, which I really, really enjoy. And this is done in, in resin as well on birch. And these are wooden pieces that I've done in different colors. I like the copper tones, the golds, etc. So here's a little, just a little bit more of these little shelf art oh, pieces in different colors. So pretty. Uh, just a little bit. <gasps> Look at this, a beautiful charcuterie plate, if somebody wanted to use it. Well, this is, this can be multiple things. I have one of these in my bathroom. Okay. That, you know, some of the stuff says the, the electric toothpaste, um, toothbrush stains on. Yep. You can hang this on the wall. That was actually part of it was the box. Oh, and these, these are actually yeah, divots. These are like beautiful. Little artist we got palettes. Kevin in the background. Hi, Kevin. Yeah. No, that's okay. I was going to say, give you a little wave. Okay. And this is an artist palette. So it's like pretty cool because, um, you know, you can give it as a gift to some, the artist yep. in your life or the budding artist. And dreams. Uh, and then we've got like different things. We've got there were two words that impacted on me, and that is why these are the only two words that I actually um, got the molds for. And that was blessed, which is this one. So this Love is layered that. resin. This is at least three or four different layers of resin. Um, so you build up the little embellishments inside, the bees, the flowers, you know, whatever the case might be over the course of four layers and the other one was dream because I dreamt about starting my own business I've dreamt about starting my own business for years and in 2021 I started my own business for better or for worse in sickness in your home <laughs> oh. Oh. these are just amazing 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 guys you need to come down to 20411 Fraser Highway Kuban Cafe and Frosting's Cupcakery. That's where it will be today till five with these lovely pieces. Oh, this is just magical. So these hands, um, when I first saw this mold, um, I was like, well, there's giving hands and there's receiving hands and there's blessed hands, healing hands, actually, the, it was the healing hands. So these hands have got so many different uses. They can they can sit in your fairy garden. They can sit outside in your actual garden. Oh, so these guys are weatherproof. Okay, yeah, perfect. They are weatherproof. Um, they can be a memorial piece for a beloved pet. Um, so I also do things, you know, things like that. Put the the pet ashes in. Small okay. Oh, hold your hand. Okay. And then they would go in that, and that's sort of a little beloved memorial to you know to your pets. Beautiful. Soap dish. This one I actually poured. I had oh, Ferrero Rocha on the brain when I saw that. Well, and, and I held this like, one up hmm. to the light. And could you imagine this sitting on a shelf with a light behind it as a sconce? It would be beautiful. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So, ah, Mechanica. This is probably, this is my favorite. Okay, hold piece. it nice and steady. Whoops. So, Mechanica, I hand poured these elements. These are resin elements in the steampunk style. 
I am a huge fan of steampunk. I absolutely love it. So I poured this canvas um, in resin and I was like, okay, this is a bit bland. It needs a little bit of extra something. And when I got this mold, I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I did these in chameleon colors. I threw some of the gears. And I decided to lay it out in steampunk style and call it Mechanica because it is absolutely one of my favorite molds to work with. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, that, if you ask me what is my favorite piece, this. Between this one and a quetta over there, that's my favorite pieces. Perfect. For now. Okay, so in the background, hey, Ricardo, if you want to come in, I just want to introduce you now. This is Ricardo. He, whoops. He is the owner of the Cuban Cafe and the Frosting's Cupcakery. Thank you so much for allowing my BC Consulting, the Messy Maricat, and uh, Nathan Superhero uh, books to come and be part of your cafe today to give back to, uh, to, to community. So tell us a little bit about your, uh, your place of business here. Oh, well, uh, we started eight months ago. Uh, Coven Cafe is a concept that where we try to go back to basics. So we bake our bread here in a minimum state with a sourdough, a flour, and, and that's it. Uh, we also kept the frosting cupcake brand to have the traditional cupcakes. So, so far we've been happy selling uh, lots of cupcakes. Uh, and we have a pretty promising year of cupcakes, so if you haven't gotten yours, you better come fast because <laughs> we have uh, 3,000 to deliver by next Friday, so uh, wow. we may not have room for more. <laughs> <laughs> we better and, get our cupcakes uh, today. <laughs> coffee, we, we are proud of our, our selection of beans. We, Cuban means uh, kitchen in Mayan. And the coffee that, that we selected is from the Mayan region, so it's an mm. Arabic bean that is a, it's a medium roast, but not for that it's a weak roast. It's a weak bean. It's a very very tasty and with very good body uh, and, and flavor. So we are proud of it, and we do all the different uh, drinks, right? Because right now we are promoting the. Our eggnogs and oat milk oh, and the peppermint. delicious oat nog latte. I have to tell you, it's like a hug in a mug. <laughs> and our peppermint bark mocha that, that mm. I have never tried it before, and I honestly am a fan too of that. And uh, yeah, so we're here in downtown Langley. It's cold, but it's still a great place to to come and show shop local. Thank you so much once again. I'm going to come back to me guys and. Um, so, oh, Mike and Jamie, oh, the flash. So they've got all the cupcakes kind of back here. They've got sandwiches and soups and amazing coffees. Um, so in this corner, we've got Messy Maricat. We've got Kevin set up over there with his books. So I'd love to see you come down today. It is Small by BC Small Business Week. And um, this is what we can do to support small businesses this week and every day, by the way. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And I'll be back um, live, I'm sure, um, another time today because this is just too exciting. And I'll be showcasing um, a few of my favorites of, uh, of Lucia's work. Thank you, everybody, for watching.